Wait, maybe this. Maybe this curtain. Nothing behind the curtain. Of course, maybe this one. Oh, what's this? There was a camera angle change. Yeah, the camera angle's changing, but... You ever notice how uh, weird this game is with its controls? Like, uh, how it's not actually like a third-person shooter? <laughs> yeah. It's like a third-person action... Something up. Something, yeah. Do you think if Resident Evil 4 had already came out by the time Luigi and Mansion went into development, they would have made it a third-person shooter? Like a third-person style of control thing? Hmm. Huh. Just for the sake of simplicity? Because it's clear that they weren't really sure how to make this control. I can't even think of anything right now. I, I... Does anyone know what to do? Well, what the? They can't answer. They're not. It's not 2016. They're just we watching. We a... can't use Twitter. They're just watching a video where nothing happens. If somebody watches a video where nothing happens, they're not gonna have any answers. Oh, hey, babe. Can't you just like uh make a ghost to catch? Can't you kill yourself to make a ghost? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe kill yourself, then become the king of the booze, and defeat yourself. That's perfect. Just go buy a bottled ghost. Maybe you I just need more booze. Y you know, I can buy canned ghost at the supermarket. <laughs> Why can't you just go get some ghost? Go to the supermarket and buy booze. <laughs> <laughs> then... They'll answer all... Let's just get so much booze that we just forget that we were complaining. <laughs> oh, booze with a Z. Uh-huh. Oh. No, I'm, I mean the ghosts. Oh, okay. We'll, I... we'll be so enthralled with catching them. Let's, we... let's get some cold ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cold ones. I bet Luigi could go for a cold one right now. I bet he could go for some college drinks. Two. Yeah, <laughs> college drink. Some breakfast water. <laughs> I wish uh, there was a uh, mandatory uh, Whoops. child lunch for school called a school witch. <laughs> and that was uh, every kid got at least, uh, they got their school witch tickets every month. Oh, yeah. And every day, there was enough to get a school witch every day. And that was determined to be the most healthy snack that a kid could have at lunch. But are there dirt witches? Well, I don't know. My breakfast water. My school witch. <laughs> my lunch meat. <laughs> are you ah, sure there's it. nothing in there? There's, there's a boo. I'm looking for the boo right now. He's gotta be somewhere. I think, uh... I think I just need booze. That's probably I think, it. I think turkeys should be renamed, uh, dinner birds. <laughs> <laughs> because clearly yeah, they're just yeah. for dinner. They don't do anything else other than be dinner. I mean, everyone oh, knows geez, that at this, this point. That's tough. what a turkey's for. Do you think uh, turkeys kind of collectively know when Thanksgiving is coming? <laughs> like maybe somewhere maybe. deep down, like they know it's coming, or I don't know. Or... Well, it's not. It's not exactly turkey genocide or anything. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Like, sometimes I wonder if cows know when they're going to be killed and eaten. Like if they mm. know when their time is. Yeah. Because they saw every other cow get killed. Maybe. Maybe they have a feel for. It. Ta-da! We've and actually made some progress. Animals? Well, no, not really. I'm trying to figure out if I had any. Oh, I have a special bit of information. 
Ghost free from the pains of the ghost stars. Van, Van Gore. And a passel of trouble for Safi Hatcher. Okay. Yeah, we actually made some progress. I suppose so. It uh, just took 20 booze. So. <laughs> it just took forever. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, animals have a, uh, like a lot of extra senses like that. Not because they're smart, but because they have nothing on their mind. Do you think a snake, snakes should be renamed, uh, long food? <laughs> you think that would be good? <laughs> hmm. I wonder if they, uh. I, I really think chickens should be renamed dinner birds. <laughs> I love the sound of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> now, where was I going? Like a... I think everything should be renamed in the animal kingdom based on what it's for. I think humans should be called standards. Because they stand up. Mm -hmm. So standards eat dinner birds. <laughs> I'm a... Me, I'm a stander. <laughs> and burger beasts. Bur <laughs> burger beast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know. Like the beasts of burger. I got Opac in their pen. Uh -huh. Cut them up and make some burger. To feed my stander stomach. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, advice, please. Hmm. Let's see if I can return to the. Uh, how do I return to the 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 e god? So oh, cool. I, I think a rabbit should be called like a hopping rat or something. <laughs> Jumping rat. Um. Okay. How about they, they? They they have to have dinner or something let's, in their name. No, let's. I know we, we do eat them here. Eat I don't know if everyone else does, but uh, I think uh, we should cut down the members of the animal kingdom to five distinct animals. Humans being a standard, birds, uh, uh, rats. That's three. Um, snakes and uh, beasts. That's so five. That's all there is. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, uh, burger beast, dinner bird, hopping rat, uh, ho hopping something, dinner rat. Oh, I think oh, I missed a Oh, God. Ghost. Like, We're you dead. got a rat and a dinner rat. A dinner rat is a rabbit. <laughs> uh, man, I could go for a big dinner bird right now. Whew. Down at Kentucky Fried Dinner Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go to Kentucky Fried Dinner Bird after this is over. Yeah. <laughs> go to... Go to KFC and ask for dinner bird. <laughs> <laughs> they would know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you mean chicken? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but can you go to McDonald's and ask for a dinner bird sandwich? <laughs> or go to PETA and, and start a and start a movement called Save the Din Dinner Birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's a. <laughs> Make start a movement called Dinner Birds or Animals Too <laughs> instead of food. <laughs> Dinner birds are animals too. They're not just food, okay? Despite what you might think. Or <laughs> start a movement called Cats Are Tasty Too. <laughs> No stander meat shall pass these lips. 
that's my new my new thing I'm gonna start this year. Mm -hmm. I don't want any more stander meat. <laughs> I think we should. We, we gotta call cows di Burger Bison. Bur burger Bison. Burger Bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where? So, what's a pig? Is a pig a bacon beast? Or what, what does it do? A bacon, uh... Bacon boar. Or a, uh... Hmm. <sighs> okay, uh, the bottom of the well... Oh yeah, we'll go... Go to the well thing. See what's going on there. If anything new. I hope not. Or I hope so. Or whatever. I don't care. This game sucks. It might. It might suck. Yeah. It's likely to suck. the hell? Oh, I forgot! Shit! Mario! I forgot all about Mario. Can you look in that hole? Oh, I think I'll look in the hole. Wait. Is there someone in there looking? I wish there was someone in there looking at you. That's what I'd do. Oh, look at this. This is lame. Mm -hmm. Polygon's here. Yeah. Very primitive. This is a very primitive game, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, look at this background. Mm -hmm. It's just 2D trees. They're still affected by light, but... Yeah. Knowing full well the GameCube could handle 3D trees back there. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know that yet. Because they were just starting to use the GameCube. Okay, so... Ah, shit. What? Uh... I think I'll talk to you guys. I just realized I probably missed something he said. Oh shit. Hmm. There really is no... There's no help in this place. You gotta make it feel along somehow. Uh... Oh, use the C sticks to select these. That's weird. We gotta find a way to use the C stick. It's the GameCube, after all. Uh huh. Okay, so this one between between like a uh, dinner man and lady, there's something. Hmm. Looks like Dirty Dan had his last dinner dump. <laughs> you could say. Mm hmm. Whoops. Top floor. I'll check the top floor for new stuff. Oh, wait. Maybe check the map. See what. If it wants mm -hmm. me to go somewhere. I'd go, uh, go for a big heap and help on the Dirty Dan's dinner bird. <laughs> right now. Oh, yeah. Wait, where did... How did I get to that green spot up there? Uh, welcome what to... Is that? Welcome to Dirty Dick's Dinner Bird. Oh, I think... Yeah, that's the well thing. Okay. Munch on my bird. I've got all the birds you need. <laughs> Chew on my bird. <laughs> 24 bird combo pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Yeah, imagine if you opened a bucket of a 24 piece bucket of chicken at KFC and it was 24 little chickens all fully cooked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tiny. Wow. What a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dinner birds. 
don't just eat the skin. <laughs> One time I got a dinner bird in your 24 pack dinner bird combo pack and uh, it was all skin. <laughs> oh, we're sorry. It was all skin all the way through. It was skin. This dinner bird was skin all the way through. I got chipped. <laughs> Uh, I can give you a coupon for a pack, a six-pack uh, combo uh, enjoyment sizzler uh, uh, instead. Do you want that, sir? Okay. Enjoyment sizzler? What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm just trying to come up with these stupid buzzwords like, like combo pack, something is a sizzler, a twister, and a... <laughs> they do have the zinger at KFC. I know, zingers and... <laughs> like, uh, they call a small burger a slider. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I always thought that was hilarious because they couldn't come up with something called like a small burger that sounds good. Small they burger. They should have called it a sizzler. They should have called it a small burger. <laughs> <laughs> sl a smallzer. S M A L Z E R. We only use the, the smallest cows for for our meat. No, it's not wings. It's wings. W-Y-N-G-Z. I never said W-I-N-G-S, okay? We never said that. Can you sign this form? We never said wings. We said wings, okay? They're different. This room, this is an elusive room right here. What's it doing? There's a floor up. Uh, there's a big door there. And hmm, you know what I think? What? I think it's something dumb. I went to uh, Captain Pollock's uh, Poulet uh, Palooza, and I got a fresh plate of the Captain's finest catch with beverage. <laughs> Great. The captain's finest catch. P Poulet, I believe, being French for fish. <laughs> I think it's chicken. Chicken yeah. is not French for fish. You can put that in writing, folks. You heard that here. It is in fact not French for fish. That's not what I was saying. What? That's not what I actually think. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> did I say poulet? I meant poisson. <laughs> I think it's poisson. Or something. It's almost poison. <laughs> yeah, you think it might Sorry. be poison. Sorry, I made a mistake. I should know better because a lot of people speak French here, and we're actually bilingual, technically. Oh this. yeah. Um, speaking of dinner birds, you what? know what? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Turkey in French is dinned. Oh, dinned. Yeah. Dindy. Oh. So <laughs> they were named after dinner. Were they? I don't know. Wouldn't that just be lay dinner? <laughs> it's my understanding that everything to make to make a word French, you just put lay in front. Yeah, it yeah. It immediately becomes French. But it's like it's always a different word. Like uh, turkeys are dinner, and uh, and seals are fuck. Is that what? Is that true? Yeah, seals are fuck. Is that what it is? F u c k. Yeah. Is that what? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm having a hard time believing that. But, okay, I'll take your word for it. I like, uh... And tortured, tortured baby cow is... Mmm. Is yums. Yums. Uh, I was, uh... Like, I was thinking, uh... I like how, uh, pickles are cornichons. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, French. Cornichon somehow seems like what a pickle would be. It sounds <laughs> crunchy, but nowhere in that word does it say crunch. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of, it, it's like how a dyslexic person would uh, write crunch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of that, I think a dyslexic person is coming up with the names for uh, the places in Dark Souls. Because uh, they've got Lord Dran, Dran Gleek, and now we got, uh, what's the Dark Souls 3 place? Um, it's just another combination know. of those yeah. things. But 
but they did have, uh, I think they had three people with Gwyn in the name, mm -hmm. uh, in Dark Souls 1. They have a lot of things like that, like, uh, uh I believe there was something in, in Bloodborne too, but I forget what it was. I got, uh, uh, the Crestfallen Soldier, or Crestfallen Warrior, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. was in, uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Dark Souls 2. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of like the same exact character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, in Bloodborne, in the beta for Bloodborne, uh, Father Gascoigne said Mbasa. Like they oh, do in yeah. Demon Souls, maybe uh -huh. that's what you're thinking about. Uh, maybe. I think it was something more obvious. Oh. Like, did you beat the DLC? The naming thing. Ah, no. I haven't gotten back into the game yet. I beat the DLC, and I beat the Moon Presence. I did everything oh, yeah. in that game. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Huh. So there. Well, you wasted your time on optional content. Yes. That should have been DLC. All it, it should have been mandatory. Hmm. All content should be mandatory from now on to beat. So it's you. You should be able to go through the entire game without seeing a jiggly blue man. And a little elam out. They should be. They should be like DLC characters. Oh god, little jiggly blue people. The jiggly head. Yeah. This is freaky. Jiggling around and get too close and they grow hair. Yeah. Like the cilia or whatever it is. And they're just squirming around. Oh. <laughs> God. I've lost my soul. I've killed my soul. Killed my soul. The darkness comes. Like what? Killed my soul, run. Killed my soul. You killed my soul. Okay, I got 20 booze. There doesn't seem to be any booze left. <laughs> There's 30 booze left to get in this goddamn game. Well, yeah, but you don't need them all. You needed 20 to move on from this point, but I still haven't moved on from this point. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there must be a door that unlocked somewhere. But you need keys to unlock doors. Somewhere in the labyrinth, That's my the door has unlocked. Hmm. Maybe it's like La Mulana. A door unlocked somewhere really far away, and there's no way for you to know what you did to unlock it. Yeah. So, in order to progress from that point, you literally have to wander around, not knowing why a door unlocked. <laughs> this ain't right. This ain't right here. This ain't right. That boy ain't right. Okay, here's the uncleared room. And... Dang it, Bobber. Dang it, Bobber. That boy ain't right. Propane. Propane. Who, Luigi? <laughs> yes. That boy ain't right. That, I think their parents, like the father of Mario and Luigi, was probably saying that Luigi wasn't right. <laughs> that boy ain't right. Uh huh. <laughs> Seems a little on the homo side. <laughs> We better scare him straight. Seems a little off the straight and narrow. So they scared him straight in a gay camp. <laughs> yeah. Which is to get you not to be gay. It's they, just, they, they just stick everyone who is gay in a room together and uh, like there's no, like there's no details on the walls or furniture or anything. It's just an empty room. It's a, you, you can only get, uh, you can only get out through the trap door at the top. You kids like being gay so much? Well, here's all the gay you want. <laughs> Have it all then. You just, you just pack the people in, like as as tightly as you can, bare to like naked, fill the room up to the beginning. Bare naked and have fun, kids, gaying each other, <laughs> gay each other right up. Yeah. Here's all the gay you could ever want. I'm gonna make you sick of it. Start puffing, boy. <laughs> You're gonna sit there and smoke every one of those cigarettes. You're gonna sit there and gay every one of those boys until you don't want it anymore. Was 
that ever a method for de-gayifying a person was to expose them to so much gay that they didn't want it? <laughs> I think it would. I think it would work, work like this. They'd uh, they'd put you in a room with another gay kid, and uh, you you would say that neither of you gets any food until one of you ends up pregnant. <laughs> what? <laughs> that'll that'll shock him straight. <laughs> He's going to learn fair and square that a man can't get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's check the gallery. Poor Luigi spent 25 years in a scared, straight, gay detention camp. This is why he's so messed up and emotionally stunted. I knew there was a reason. Zero G. Mm. And uh, the reason Mario is so cool was because uh, he spent uh, 25 years in a hetero enjoyment camp. And that's why yes. he's so amazing and has so much personality. And he's so wonderful. That looks awful. That looks freaking awful. Jesus Christ. It looks like a 10 year old made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little better. Oh. Here's the one I'm missing, I think. Because, uh,. Oh, here's Dinner Dog. <laughs> dinner Dog! <laughs> ah, there's the flag of France. Here's Dinner White flag. From thank um, you. <laughs> uh, if you're, uh, like, you're not gay, but you're on the edge and you're not sure and you're really hetero, can you go to, like, a hetero. like. Hetero re-education. No, camp? can you go to like a hetero enhancement camp to make you <laughs> even more heterosexual in your? You know, well, it's better thing? safe than sorry. Yeah. How does that work? You're gonna be so heterosexual by the time we're done that you're not gonna want to see another man. Period. Well, that that just seems like a good time for anybody, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Uh, we. Where what? am I? Uh, Egad, what's a Game Boy horror? You're in it. <laughs> oh damn! You best start believing in Game Boy Horror, son. You're in one. You best start believing in bad games, Luigi. You're in one. <sighs> what do we do? He got. Are you done appreciating art for today? Yep, I'm all appreciated out. I'm not sure if I could appreciate one more square inch of art if I could. Man, appreciating all that art, it really worked up an appetite. <laughs> I could really go for some dinner bird. Yeah. That, uh, that little thing on top of his head looks pretty tasty. Yeah, cut that off and eat it. Looks pretty good. Fry it up. <laughs> Whatever that Looks is. Looks like some kind of tuber. <laughs> we could Maybe he's may a toad that got his hat removed. <laughs> now we turned into that. <laughs> Maybe you pull that out, and it'll just like this big potato will be at the uh, like at, at the root of it. <laughs> you pull it out, and there's uh you keep pulling and pulling and pulling, and you pull out a potato that's in the exact same shape as his face and head and all that. 